What's up guys, Ivan here with GetIvan.com and in this video I'm going to be doing an official review for WebShare Data Center proxies. I've been using these proxies for about a year and a half, I think. Pretty good while. Let's see if the, there's a drop down here. For, uh, let's see if we can try uh, let's try 2020, December 2020 to, or wait a second. Yeah, December 2020 to today. Well, it's been longer than that. Let's try 2019. Let's see if it works by doing it like this. No, I don't think it does. <laughs> I think that's, I think that's too far back. Or let's try, yeah, like this to... Might not let me go that far back, I think. Well, you see, it's kind of graying it out. Probably doesn't work that way. But anyways, I've been using it for quite a while. And I think I tried a couple other data center proxy providers during that time. But I ended up going back to WebShare because it's, uh, it's the success rate is just so excellent. I particularly use them to scrape metadata and uh, to scrape emails from uh, various websites. And so you can see my bandwidth for the last month is pretty high, three terabytes of bandwidth. So you can see that I've uh, I used them quite a bit. Let's take a look at some subscription plans and I can kind of give you an idea of how to set it up and then I can show you some stuff that I do in one of my servers below. It depends on your budget really. You if you're doing kind of if you're doing things for scraping then what I do is I use another proxy provider's residential rotators to collect URLs from uh, Yahoo in particular, at least at the moment that's mainly my use case. And then once I have the URLs from Yahoo then I'll use the web share data center proxies to actually collect information from those variated websites because at scale data center proxies are more ideal than other types of proxies because they're a lot cheaper and they're a lot more abundant. You can get a, lar a larger volume of proxies with the larger volume of concurrencies and they're not as expensive as residential proxies or as mobile proxies. So you can scrape a lot more data from a lot of different types of websites um, using data center proxies more readily than you can other types of proxies uh, because you just don't, other proxies are cleaner but and more successful, but you, you generally don't have very many concurrencies or numbers of proxies to be able to process a large quantity of URLs. And so in my use case for scraping, they're really, really great. Um, and they're, they're successful. And other proxy providers I've tested, there's a lot of, it tends to be a lot of failure, whereas with WebShare, there's pretty much perfect success. So it, it stands out uh, by comparison. So if it, you know, I'm kind of at a, a higher number right now than I think most folks would be at. So I'm guessing most people would probably be about here or here, maybe, depending on your budget in this range. And then you also need to make sure that you now the, lo the location actually does not matter. Like you could possibly contact support and ask for just maybe a, a cheaper plan of worldwide proxies um, or you could just select whichever country and it, it does it doesn't really matter um, uh, at least for my use case it doesn't matter that much you know otherwise you can just go with the USA um, for bandwidth pool you definitely got to get unlimited if you're doing what, something like I'm doing you got to get unlimited bandwidth like Otherwise, you're just not going to be able to get anywhere. And let's see. I have a I have a monthly refresh. It looks like 
I haven't looked at this literally in months because I, I got it set to like just right, you know, and so I don't have to be concerned about it. You probably don't want to do no, you could do no refreshes, but eventually they're going to get, if you hit the same sites, even at just like a little bit, then they'll, they'll eventually get nuked. But I do so much scraping, like that monthly refresh is, <laughs> is very minimal. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you don't necessarily, it depends on your use case, but I do recommend one monthly refresh. Uh, but if it ups the price too much, you could, you could drop that. And that's only 10 bucks or 15 bucks or something. I use a password and username. So you probably don't need unlimited IP authorizations. That's up to you. You definitely need high concurrencies. You can see it says concurrency is limited to 500. So with this feature, you can have like 5,000 plus concurrency. So that's just where you have a pool. You know, if you have, if you have a 250 or 500, I guess if you have 500 proxies, then and you're using them like for different purposes, you want to be able to have more concurrencies so that you can use the same proxy from multiple points, because otherwise it's way, way, way too easy to hit the concurrency limit, unless you're just using like 50 proxies here, 50 proxies here, 50 proxies here, you know, you get the idea. So I do recommend high concurrency. I don't think you need high priority network. That's like faster, response time like if you were processing a really large amount of like an obscenely large amount of data at one single time then the speed might be more critical because at scale this could make a pretty big difference in processing time i haven't tested this um well i think i may have tried it a while back but i haven't tested i haven't tested this recently so i don't know what the difference is like say for a hundred proxies operating in an hour. I, I really couldn't tell you how much faster it really is. So this is what I would do though. High concurrencies, one refresh a month, unlimited bandwidth, location doesn't really matter for scraping. And then you need, I think a hundred is too small. Like, yeah, I mean, for an extra 10 bucks, you can get double that amount. And then it double. this is the best, this is the most budget efficient package, 250. Um, but it just depends on, it depends on your budget. Also, I think if you go, if you go like one, there's a threshold, like where if you typed in an exact quantity, you can break into the discount. So I think if you typed in like, so here's 250 for 40 bucks. And then like, if you went to 251, I think you get the 5% discount possibly. No, 20% discount. Let's see. That's 20%. Yeah. And then there's the 4%. Yeah. So you do, you do get a discount if you just go one proxy above the uh, whatever plan. So if you went here, you'd get 10% off. So if you went 501, then it's $71 instead of 75. So that's not a very big discount, but you, you kind of get the idea, guys. Anyways, uh, so that, that's that's what I'd recommend in terms of configuring your package um, with WebShare. Let's hop over to one of my servers here and I can kind of show you. So I do a lot of stuff with Scrapebox. Uh, for those of you who watch my channel, you know that. But here's a little instance I've got running right now for a local um, job for a customer with the YP scraper. So the YP scraper is great to run the, the web share proxies. And uh, it runs with a really high success rate. You can see there's only been 96 errors so far processed like a quarter of the list or something and 340,000 records scraped. It's so this is a really great use case for scraping yellow pages. And then in other cases, I might take um, some list, let's see here, some list of URLs. I just got some random stuff here on the desktop that I haven't messed with. 
let's see if we can grab something from the archive. One K niche. Uh, let's try. Let's try this workflow. Be tier one URL alive. Contact page. So let's grab this real quick. This is like a an old file, but it's useful for this example. So if we look at these URLs, you can see that for this is for like some sort of senior assisted living niche in Washington or something, some past custom order. And you can see that there actually this is not alphabetized. So let's drop it in here, alphabetize it. And then you can see all kinds of different websites um, ranking for whatever this, I don't even recall the size of this scrape, but there's 144,000 URLs after scrubbing for duplicates and, and searching for contact pages and things like that. Some, there's some other things that haven't been cleaned out of here. I, I would clean out .gov and .edu and .jp, .ru, oops. legal law legal law job career and there's a whole list of, of stuff to, to to scrub out and i probably what i probably did is i you know i did a pre-meta scrub and that's why that that, that file it, that's usually what i do is i leave the URLs alone, and then I'll do like a pre meta scrub and then drop these forward slashes and things like that. But um, so when you're looking at a big list of URLs that is just like really variated between niches and all kinds of different sites, like that's where the web share proxies really shine. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, let's see how much resources. Do I okay, it's not too bad. Let me go copy this and I'll just give you an example of how prolific it can be when you have a good chunk of um, web share proxies. So basically what I do a lot of the time, the, the, these proxies are really important for getting emails for me. And they're also really important for getting metadata um, from those web pages and really like I, I only use residential proxies to scrape like yellow or uh, Yahoo and like really critical, critically difficult sites. Uh, they're more expensive, but for most purposes, I use data center proxies from WebShare. And so they're absolutely crucial in my use case inside of Scrapebox. And so for, for collecting metadata, for example, they're, I haven't found anything that can do what WebShare can do, um, at least for the cost. So the, the, the URLs are loaded and when I click start, you can see it starts to find the metadata and it'll either find what's there uh, or what is not there. So it'll, it'll pull back, um, even blank spots and certain things like the descriptions that don't show up where the site owners haven't filled out the metadata. And very rarely will I see like where maybe a proxy has been blocked. Like this one failed to read because of a timeout. So I needed, there need, there's probably like reader URL redirects in that case. But the point is that, excuse me, for the vast majority, um, it, it returns a value. Let's see here. You can see it's already processed. Now I'm running 500 threads. So that's the most that one instance will process. And it's already almost 10 K through like it, it, it only takes, you know, 15 minutes or something or 30 minutes or some short period of time to process a hundred thousand URLs. So WebShare is really, really great for that. And basically I take that data and put it next to um, you are the URLs in a spreadsheet from, you know, like scraping emails and then, and that you metadata allows me to filter my samples, my lists really well. 
So anyways, just an example for how I use WebShare and it gets me really great uh, uh, actionable data for email list kidding. If I was also to come here to grab check and go grab emails by crawling sites, like really you could do any of this stuff, grabbing emails, grabbing phone numbers, grabbing comments, uh, any, anything involved in Scrapebox, most of it is done with data center proxies. You're talking like 90%. Uh, so my web share proxies are pretty important. If I had a problem with these proxies, I'd be kind of like panicking. I'd be like, oh my gosh, no, I don't, don't tell me I have to go do more research, you know, for, for data center proxies. So I'm really glad that my data center proxies work really well for, uh, uh, in web from WebShare, let's take a look here at the uh, emails. So this is picking up emails right now, and you can see it it goes pretty quickly and does pretty well. So yeah, please check below this video. I have just like a refer a friend link, and it might offer like a ten percent. It might offer like a small discount or maybe like a ten dollar credit or something. I'm not sure, but. So make sure to check that out. Um, obviously, you can just go to WebShare or contact them through the, through the contact form or something if you wanted to see if they might give you a discount or kit, kit together a special package for you. And if you do that, just let them know, hey, Ivan uh, from GetIvan.com recommended me through his video. And, you know, obviously, if you can use the link below this video, I'd really appreciate it. Um, because basically my referrals pay for my proxies. So, uh uh, that's pretty much it. This is the first I've done a few proxy videos before, but this is the first time I've ex just explicitly done a review just on WebShare. And I, I've got a year and a half experience with them, guys, and I do recommend them. Um, I haven't found anything that, you know, I've tested some other things, but I haven't found anything that comes close to the the quality. Also, the right, it has the right features. It has unlimited bandwidth you know, high levels of concur, high quantity of concurrency, high level of success. So web share guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.